What's up, YouTube? Your boy, JD, making a, uh, a video here of my new setup, my little bird number two. Uh, my first little bird, of course, my first every 30. Tragically, I was flying over some farm tractors, and they had some kind of GPS, satellites, all kind of crazy stuff in it. And um little bird decided to start following them around. It was crazy. I'd never seen nothing like it before in my life, but I completely lost control to it. It was like in fail-safe mode or something, but it was literally, it was following the tractors around. I mean, I still had a full signal on the FPV equipment. I could see it, but it was just literally following them around, and next thing you know, the camera went out. It crashed and got ran over or something. But but anyway, this is Little Bird 2. Um, did a couple things different on it. Still using the Ren Zombie OSD, of course. Um, I'm using a 1,000 milliwatt Amway video tx they say this is supposed to be pretty good and it's compatible to fast shark um i also i put a two axis gimbal on the front of this bad boy um works pretty good i tested out i'm not using the second axis i'm just using one axis for the uh the tilt and it works out pretty good i put a, a little voltage meter on here so i can see the you know, the power of the battery from just freestyle flying. I mean, I don't always do FPB. I just like ripping and rolling sometimes, you know, here in the, around the house or wherever. Uh, but, yeah, so I can see the, the wattage. And I'm still using RX-1002. Here's that v shade I was talking about. Um, I'm Devo 7 with RX-1002. With this v shape. you can get two miles out of that setup. <laughs> straight up you know i have video of it, proof in the pudding um but this time I'm, I'm doing something a little bit different besides the gimbal and everything else that i got on this one i bumped my radio system up to the uh the devo 10 but not just the devo 10 um i went ahead and put the um the two watt booster on this bad boy here it is here it's pretty easy to install this i mean very easy um, the, it's not rocket science. There's, there's plenty of videos on this on YouTube, and that's uh, basically all that I did. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. But yeah, and just you know, dry testing here around the house. My little other little planes and stuff I got. I mean, the range on it was just retarded. So I can't imagine what it's gonna do to this quadcopter. But I haven't been able to fly it too tough. The weather's been just horribly bad. It's like it's raining today out here. Um, but yeah, let me plug in this gimbal. So you guys can see how it works, and it, it doesn't get in the way of the blade. And I was kind of surprised. I mean, there is like zero vibration in this. I mean, there's a, just a tiny little bit, but not much to really even notice it. And I have nothing for dampening on this at all. Nothing for vibration dampening. And yes, it is tie strapped to death on there. <laughs> but it works. Uh, but let me plug it in here real quick. Hold on, let me get this bad boy about the tape. It says like this. Check it out. Sweet. And just all I gotta do is just roll this knob here around. So far, so good. But just, you know, testing around here at the house in the backyard and everything, it's, you know, seems to be pretty much out there. But um, just shoot me some comments. If you have any questions, any suggestions, anything like that, um, just holler let me know. But I'll be, we'll be making some videos here pretty soon um, whenever we get some good weather here. And I'm going to try my best to... Um, Max this radio out, this new setup. I mean, I want to see how far this really gets. I mean, everybody talks about it so much. So, all right, y'all holler at me.